Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Saturday. It's sterile here. It's bright and freaking early, 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, the last couple days are days that I truly, honestly, I truly value, I appreciate the value of social media. Uh, watching all the, I, I, I started watching news report after news report, all, not just CNN, all different channels yesterday. This morning, I was reading all through all different articles of what happened in Uvalde, what happened at this NRA uh, convention with, with Trump. I'll, I'll get into all this in a second. But uh, like yesterday, as I was watching what I guess we could call the real timeline now. Now, I understand things are still fluid. Uh, you know, some of the facts might not be all worked out yet. But I'm going to talk about things as honestly, as, as true as I, I understand them. The real timeline. And it, it just, it's, I don't know, appalling, disgusting, surreal. Uh, I, I don't even, it's just, it's beyond, it's just beyond what I, 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 I could imagine happens in this, the greatest country in the world. Um, it, it just, it, it felt good, like going on social media and just sharing this, this unbelievable course of events. Okay, let me start with last night. As I was saying, this timeline that's come out now. I'll get into the NRA convention in a bit, a little more. But as this NRA convention is being held just a couple hundred miles away, where they are admiring and selling and, and, and worshiping uh, the same instruments that were used in this other town where, where they're now planning... The, 21 funerals, 19 for, for children. That, that, that whole thing is just surreal. They're over here just worshiping these things. And it, that to begin with. Then over at the NRA convention, they're talking about solutions that have anything, any solution, as long as it doesn't involve what they're worshiping there. Uh, you know, they're talking uh, it, over and over again. A good guy with a gun. And it's like, I can't believe that they're actually still saying this. Now, as I watched the news last night, I just was truly, truly disgusted. As you start to understand the timeline, the thing that, that broke my heart, and this is still even hard for me to talk about, that there were several calls from inside from a little girl or a couple different young girls, 911 calls, to the outside telling them that what was happening inside, asking for the, the police to come in for over an hour. And this and they just stayed outside. Nine, 19 officers in the hallway, but they would not breach and go inside. And then the security officer, who was nowhere when the suspect showed up, was not on school grounds. And when he showed up on school grounds, Instead of, he, he mistakenly approached a teacher as the suspect instead of the suspect. You know, it's just, to call it a, a SH blank T show it is an understatement. It, it's just, as I watched this last, especially with these little girl, the, this little girl calling in. And what's still going in, there's still an active situation going on in these classrooms. And then it just gets worse. <laughs> these same policemen that are outside now, the parents are, are, are just saying, we're going in and we're going to, if you can, if you're not going to do it, we're going to do it. You know, they're not, they're unarmed and they're, they are going to run in there and save their children. And these parents are threatened to be tased. They're put on the ground, they're handcuffed. And as I'm watching these news reports last night, I, I, I'm just, you know. And then over here, 200 miles away, they're talking about the good guy with the gun as the solution to this. You know, and it's just, I, I, to say disgusted, it makes me disgusted, angry. It's just so freaking surreal. Is this, are you kidding me? Is this, this is really happening? Uh so that whole situation there, as I understand it. Okay, let me let me talk just a little bit about Donald Trump 
at this NRA convention. Now, a lot of people backed out, and with good taste, with good sense, a lot of them, the, the three music acts, and each one of these, these music acts are like 80 years old. He's the only the only guys they get to play with, uh, you know, like like Donald Trump couldn't get anybody for his his uh, inauguration. I think he had what one band, uh, Don McLean, American Pie, and he he looks he looks like they rolled him out of a senior citizen home. Uh, anyway, with good good with good taste, these three acts backed out. Ted Cruz still showed up, and of course Donald Trump showed up. Now I'm going to share with you this is. As I watched, I'll have the links, all the links for this down below. As I watched Donald Trump, there, there's just a few things. Look, you know, you guys know, I can't stand the guy, but <laughs> this, I'm trying to be objective here, and there's a few things I noticed. Okay, he read the names of the children, and I noticed something as, as he read those names. He does something when he when he pronounces names of people that he is disgusted with that he doesn't like that he has a problem with he pronounces them in a specific way he he extra he goes out of his way like theatrical he goes into like say say beta beto o'rourke beto o'rourke he i know i just noticed that this morning he only does that with people he doesn't like, that people that annoy him, people that don't that he think doesn't that, that people that he thinks don't belong here, and as he you know, and it's it's more than just not being able to you know being accustomed to Spanish names. There's plenty of politicians that go out of their way to learn how to enunciate the Spanish language. Now I was going to do it here, but. I grew up in a French Canadian household. My mother still has that accent, and I still have it sometimes. And if I try to do, if I try to enunciate Spanish words, they come out with a French Canadian accent. So I'm not going to do it here. But as he read those names, he did that with every single name. You know, uh, Juanito Gonzalez. And think about it. He only does that with particular people. You know what? This is the feeling I got. You know, it's, people would say, well, you know, he's just, he has a hard time with Spanish pronunciation. It's theatrical. It really is. It goes, it goes one step beyond. What I see there is, is him saying that, you know, these names aren't, they're not normal. They're not right. They don't belong. They're not American. They're hard to pronounce. They're not, they're not familiar. They're odd. Uh, they're foreign. Foreign is be the best word. And he, he throws in just an added bit of theatrics to, 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 to push that point. Juanito Gonzalez. You know, and I'm not saying that's one of the names. That's just the, that's a couple names I heard mixed together. But I know, without a doubt, I noticed that. And it gets worse. Then there's this toll out of the lake, so you can watch this yourself. The tolling of the of it wasn't a bell; it sounded like a gong. So he reads a name, and you hear this nerve rattling gong, gong. You know, it, it, Benito Gonzalez, gong, and then the next, you know, and it's just I'm like you know, is, and then you think about this. The parents, just 200 miles away, are still grieving. This is a freaking convention where they're worshiping and selling the same things that were, you know, that this and this kid. How come no flags went up? Right after his 18th birthday, he goes out and purchases a couple of these things. He had 60 magazines. 60 magazines and over 1,600 rounds. In less than a month, I think he purchased these, and, and no flags went off. No, you know, nothing odd there. Is that used? For, is that normally used for target practice? Sixty magazines or hunting? You know, and as I'm watching this, you know, the two things going on simultaneously, and then the people at the convention still pushing this good guy, this good guy with the as a solution or the one door thing. And another thing, in the, in the articles down below, Uvalde and a lot of other Texas towns have already supposedly hardened their schools. They, they got a bunch of money from when the COVID thing. 
And this school, from the articles I've been reading down below, we already supposedly had hard, hardening techniques used there. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't, I'm not even going to mention the scenarios right off the top of my head. If you, if you had just one single exit and egress point for a hundred, couple hundred children, you know, the, the, the horrific things that could be added to, to funneling all these people in and out one particular spot. You know, I, I'm not even going to bring up the things that, that popped into my head. Uh, but just watching Trump, like I said, the most, the most disturbing thing, it was his, his, his theatric over enunciation of these names. And then it all clicked. He only does this with people that he's picking on people. He doesn't like, and these are 19 kids that just lost their lives. Think about it. You know, am I wrong? As you can tell, man, I, I'm still wrong. I, you know, I, I'm beyond angry. I'm beyond disgusted. This is just freaking surreal. Um, you know, enough. And uh, one last thing I want to mention. There was an article I came across that had a very good point about the Second Amendment. Now, remember, I grew up with, the, with all this stuff. My father collected these. I learned to, to clean and hold all these things at, when I was four or five years old. But this is a whole different story thing you know what i had was for hunting uh the second amendment says there's two words well regulated well regulated what does that mean to you well regulated think about it it means you know nothing insane and and it, it means taking a look at who has these things and and what degree you know they didn't have these back then the, the these these very efficient weapons uh but what do you think well regulated means doesn't mean everybody can own a freaking flamethrower it means yeah pretty much the opposite uh i'm just i'm i'm beyond and i i appreciate you guys <laughs> letting me vent uh please let me uh Write in the comments, and I'll make sure I read them and, and I talk to you guys about this. All right. Have a good Saturday.